Welcome to the OSA Quick Minute for August 22nd, 2019. The two topics we will be covering today are the practice model as well as some details regarding associate member school students. With all practices, please allow for water breaks and general acclimatization. A student may not practice or participate in competitions for more than six consecutive days without a rest day. With cross country, football, soccer, and volleyball, if your school is hosting single practice session days, please remember there is a three hour maximum time period that the students can practice. Students can participate in a one hour weightlifting session before or after practices as well. If your school is hosting multiple practice session days, there is a maximum combined total of five hours of practice allowed on those days. However, a single practice has a maximum of a three hour time limit and there is a required three hour rest period in between the sessions on those multiple practice session days. Also remember, you cannot have multiple practice session days on consecutive days. There are some specifics in football with our practice model. Football players have a minimum requirement of nine practices prior to competing. Also, if a student starts late in football, they need to start at the beginning of the progression with helmet only days and then progressing through their nine days before competing. You can find this information on our website underneath OSAA for coaches. And if you go to policies, forms and links underneath practice model, and it will take you directly to the section of our handbook regarding the practice model. Football is listed first with all of the requirements for football practices, including the progression, and then cross country, volleyball and soccer are listed with single practices and multiple practice sessions. And then all other sports are listed below that. There is also a question and answer section that will really help you with specifics. We also wanna talk a little bit about our associate member school students. A couple reminders, please confirm the address of joint residence of your, of your associate member school student is in your school's boundaries. You also wanna confirm the school the student attends is listed as an associate member school on our website. You will also need to fill out a school representation eligibility certificate once the student meets the above requirements. You can find these items on our website underneath schools, associate members, and then you will find the list of 97 associate member schools that are already listed there. If you do not find the school there, please call us and let us know and we can help walk through the process. Underneath governance and forms, you can find all of our forms, but also looking at the school representation eligibility certificate that we spoke of regarding our associate member school students. If you click on that, then it walks through exactly what you need to fill out with the student and several questions to ask the student and their family on the backside regarding affiliation. As always, if you have any questions, you can always call us and you can find other videos archived on our YouTube channel as well. Thank you for listening.